This stock is an amazing success story coming from nowhere to a market cap of about $60 billion. The stock itself this year is up more than 70%, and we are looking right now at a pre-market gain of about 3%. What's the reason? Elon Musk, and he's a visionary. Over the weekend, and early this morning, in fact, he talked about the Model 3 production schedule and what he expects it to be between now and the end of the year. We might see the first model come off the assembly line by the end of the week. There's probably going to be a party with respect to the first bulk orders coming off at the end of this month. And by the end of this year, Mr. Musk wants to be producing about 20,000 cars on a monthly basis, which is just an astonishing ramp up when you consider the fact that in the first quarter of this year, they shifted 25,000 vehicles across two different brands. So this is adding a third, and he's attempting to increase this by five and sevenfold between now and this time next year. It's a fascinating car. It's $35,000, as we all know. It's a Model 3. It's going to have some limited optionality, but I think going forward, it'll be a little bit more flexible. But on many respects and on many measurements, it's probably the most anticipated car launch of all time. 400,000 people are on a waiting list. They're probably not going to get one until 2018, and it is going to be an incredible challenge from a manufacturing point of view to ramp up production of this vehicle. What's interesting to me is that it seems to be done at the Fremont, California plant, and at the moment that seems to be strong enough to, I would say, support investor expectations of meeting these rather incredible targets. Now, whether or not the potential production facility in Shanghai is going to produce models that bring back into the United States. We don't know yet. The assumption is they're going to be made in China and sold in China. But if he, Mr. Musk can't meet these targets, he may have to rely on manufacturing elsewhere. And that is certainly going to raise the ire of one President Donald Trump, who is talking about significant tariffs on cars that are built outside of the United States and brought back in to America.